Turner in sixth, Jason Ferguson in lane seven, and Alan Condon out in lane eight. Well, I said earlier on that we have an embarrassment of riches. Fifteen men actually have qualified in this event, the qualifying time 20.8 seconds, but today it will probably be the first three who will go through. Now, just being told that Ian Mackey does not appear to be on the start line, which is a shame. He's had a pretty good weekend, Ian Mackey, coming back from all of his injury problems, ran well in the 100 and made this 200 final. Well, Julian Golding is trying to sort out his clocks there at the start. We heard Linford earlier on talking about Julian's style in comparison to some of the other men in this final. Not as big as the other men, but really does float across the ground. And he ran a very, very impressive semi-final indeed. Maybe not quite in the best of form coming up to these championships, but about an hour and a half ago, certainly looked very, very good indeed. Inside him, he'll have Marlon Devonish. John Regis will be in lane five outside him. Doug Turner will be in six. But Golding is the man really who all eyes will be on because he's the one who was meant to carry the flag really in this event. We've got one or two other great youngsters who aren't here of course. Christian Malcolm, young Tim Benjamin, Chris Lambert. But it's Golding who after his performances last year and indeed his start to this in the semi-final looks so relaxed just glancing across at everybody else. It was a slightly, a slight following win, but uh, 20.37 was very impressive indeed. Well, slight hold up at the start here, and of course that tests the nerves of these athletes. They get away this time. Golding quickly into his stride. Marlon Devnish also going well. Golding already up on John Reed. Just took Turner with a little bit of work to do. Alan Condon's run a good bend, but it's going to be Golding in the lead as they come into the home straight. Golding from Devnish. Turner with a lot of work to do. He's going to get in the first three of the Condon's third at the minute, but Golding pulling away from the rest. Julian Golding wins it. 20.2, a new championship record. Marlon Devnish in second place. Well, the lane draw play favoured Julian Golding. The form from the semi-finals favoured Julian Golding. 